Life is not that serious. Hey guys, welcome back. Just a reminder for you that life is not that serious. And again, before we get into the episode, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my episode. I know there are so many podcasts out there and you decide to choose to listen to my. I don't take it for granted. And I just want to say again, thank you. And this is a reminder for you. Life is not that serious. Stop fucking taking life so serious. I know, I know you heard this so many times, but how many times you actually do it? How many times that you actually tell yourself that, man, it's not that serious, right? You failed that test and you're like, fuck, this is the end of the world. You got fired from that job and like, fuck, this is the end of the world. No, find something new, find a new job. Life go on when you fail that test. You got one rejection from that girl, fuck, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm, I'm worthless. Stop it. Life goes on. Next girl, move on to the next girl. One failure won't defy you. Two failure won't defy you. Ten hundred failure never defy you. You are good enough. You are awesome enough. Don't take failure more serious than it is. Don't never give it more meaning than it should be. Failure is part of the process. You fail, you stand up, you try again. But how many times when we fail one, we fail twice, we give up. We take life so damn serious. We complain that life is hard. Everything goes against me. You become bitchy about life. You have a really serious perspective about life. You lose a fun in yourself. I just want to remind yourself that none of this shit are really that serious, really that important. And actually, most things don't matter. I mean, in the past, when I got a C on my test, when I got a C for that class, I took it so damn serious. I'm like, holy shit, this is serious. I would never be good enough. I would not be able to find a job until I graduated. Like, I have so many worry, concern, and this and that. But now looking back, it's like, I thought like, fuck those things didn't fucking matter. And it's like, it's never affected my life in any way. But in that moment, I took it so serious. I started becoming a worry, I started becoming a stress out. I become anxious. So many negative things when I take life that so fucking damn serious. You can agree with me on this. When we look back, most things really don't matter. But for some reason in the middle of storm, we've taken every fucking damn thing so serious. Like, let's say if you before you want to try something new, so let's say you have a goal of making more new friends, meeting your potential partners, and you tell yourself that, hey, I'm gonna try this new hiking, this new yoga class, this rock climbing, intramural sports, this meetup club. Like, you're so excited and so ready to fire up to go to those events. And guess what? After one event, after two events, you didn't get the result you want. There's no connection at rock climbing. It's like the hiking looks so boring. It's only guys, not high quality girls. You're like, fuck the shit. And then you try yoga, you couldn't make connection with any girls. Some girls over there really weird and they, nah, something really off. You try rock climbing as you feel like shit. This is so tired. No woman here. You try entrepreneurial sports. You're hoping that, man, this is going to raise you between like woman and man going to be awesome. You found out that's like fucking low quality woman. They are not really up to your standards. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Then after several failures, you're like, holy shit. I feel like life is works against me. Everything is fucking hard. And I don't know when I'm gonna meet my best friends, when I'm gonna meet my partner, like my soulmate. Like you have all of the expectations going on in your head. And when those expectations don't meet, you've become bitches. You take life so damn serious. The most important thing is you lose all the excitement and enthusiasm for life as compared when you just started. And oftentimes you start complaining, bitching about life, and then when the next time when you try a new thing, you become very cautious. You have a tendency to withdraw. You don't want to try this new thing because you told yourself, well, in the past I fell and this time won't make any difference. You have all of that story telling you that, well, whatever the new thing I try, I will never accomplish what I want in life. So you give your failure more meaning than it should be. And those failure become a bullshit story, the limiting belief that holding you from the life that you always wanted. 
What it really means is just a failure. It's just part of the process. That's it. Stop giving it more meaning than it should be. Stop giving it meaning that, well, you are not good enough. You are not worthy. And that's like life is hard. You have to be really cautious in your approach. I failed before and then now I don't want to try it again because you know what? If I fail one more time, I will look so humiliated. My ego will be damaged. Your fucking ego. That's what your ego trying to do to you. Like they try to protect you from failure. And by protect you from taking risks from failure. That's also mean that your plane is safe. And when your plane is safe, you shouldn't live at all. Like, when you play it safe, what's the point of fucking leave? You never find a meaning in living it safe. I can tell you that right now. There's no meaning in playing it safe. So my handsome friend, most things don't matter. And here's the beauty. Somehow, it always, always ends up working in the end. This is a very encouragement. Because this is the reminder for you that stop fucking stressing out in the middle of storm. Because everything work out in the end. So why not just having fun? Why not just like play with it? Like just accept that failure is part of the process. You will mess it up. And that's what I'm telling you, my friend. Life's supposed to be messed up. You mess up, you fail, you stand up again, you try again. Life is like a video game. You are like a character in the video game. When you fail, when you die. You can have a second chance and you do it again, you try again, you try new thing again, this and that until you get the result you want. But the beauty is you must not become bitchy. You must not loosen the enthusiasm and energy for life. When you encounter failure and setbacks, when you encounter challenges and actually get excited for it because you know that challenges come into your life is to make you stronger. They are part of the process. Stop resisting to it. Yes, you won't meet like a woman of your dream right away. You will meet a lot of low quality girls, you will be confused, you will get lost. And there's so many times you meet so many weirdos at the meetup. But the point is you don't lose the enthusiasm. You keep trying, you try different approach until you meet a woman of your dream. You know that in the end you will meet her if you don't settle. So that's it the point my friend. The whole message is chasing your dreams. Chasing what you want, that's when you find the meaning. And why you chasing your dreams? Expecting that there's a hard time coming to your life to make you stronger, to make you become the man you always capable of being. You will encounter a lot of challenges, rejection and failures, but you expecting that. You surrender to life, you accepting everything coming to your life and expect nothing. You're happy to accept failures because in those failure, in those hard times, that's when you find the meaning of life. And that's the whole point I want to say. Chasing your dream. Be enthusiastic about it. Be energetic about it. Never fucking taking any damn thing serious. That's all. And the most importantly, be grateful for everything that happens into your life. When you change your attitude about how you look at life, and that life is not serious, and that most things don't matter, you will have different approach to life. You will see failure differently. And that's what I want for you. To have that energy, that passion within yourself. To crush life. To pursue what you want. And be happy. Be awesome. Be fire up. Be enthusiastic about chasing your dreams. Don't let other people take away a fun within you. Life happens for you. Trust the process and have fun and enjoy life. I hope you got the value out of this episode. And if you did, please share on your social media. That will help this channel a lot. And the final reminder, life is not that damn serious. Enjoy it. And until next time, thank you.